Welcome to Gaia Yoga, my friends. Today I offer you a quick morning routine that you can do at any time when you are pressed for time, you don't have enough time for a full, well-rounded yoga practice. Or if you work out in the morning post-workout for increased flexibility, mobility, to awaken all major muscle groups and feel good and energized for your beautiful day. We'll begin the practice sitting on our knees with our toes curled. If this is too much for you if you go all the way down you can elevate the hips by bringing the block under or maybe rolling a towel and bring it at the back of the knees and just little by little allowing the soles of the feet the toes to stretch you can close your eyes and take a moment to tune in and observe how you feel letting go any unnecessary thoughts arriving to the present moment Focusing on your heart center. And when you're ready, lowering the palms down and slowly uncurling the toes, you can roll the ankles in a circular direction. And now bring the palms to the floor or the block as you press the palms into the mat, engage the core. You can lower down and try to bring the belly close to the thighs. And then try to stay connected to your belly and lift the thighs and stretch the tops of the feet. Try to bring the heels together. And as you press the floor away from you and round, you get a little higher. You can lower down and then lift back up. Down and up. Down and up, down and up, and exhale slowly lowering down. Again, you can move forward, lift the feet and relax the toes, observe any sensations. And now send the hips back, you can roll your wrists, open and close the fingers, shake. You can roll your forearms your shoulders, big, big, big circles, waking up your upper back, reversing the movement. Extending your arms to opposite sides, flexing the palms, reaching the fingertips to the ceiling and do these little circles as you push the palms, the, wrist, or the base of the wrist into opposite directions and observe what's happening. For me, <laughs> this is very intense sometimes, like this very uh, strong lines of uh, sensations, energy moving from the shoulder through the whole arm and reversing the movement and lowering down and shaking and transitioning to your tabletop, palms right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips, finding your cats and cows. Inhale, send the tailbone up, lift through the heart. Exhale, press the flow away from you, rounding your back, tucking the chin, sending your vertebras up towards the ceiling. Inhale, arch, lift through the heart. Exhale, round, press the floor away from you. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. As you press the floor away from you, find your breath of fire. Exhale forcefully for a count of 30. <laughs> Inhale, hold your breath, exhale, return to neutral. Step your right foot all the way to the right side, keep the foot on the mat, inhale, twist the chest to the right, take your right shoulder on top of the left, exhale, swing your right arm under the left and try to touch the shoulder to the floor. Inhale, open, exhale, going all the way down, inhale open, exhale, all the way down, inhale, open, exhale, all the way down and stay here, maybe you can go all the way to the floor or maybe on top of the block, press your left palm into the mat and send your left shoulder back, inhale and exhale, slowly returning to neutral, and move your right foot to the side and find your half frog. Observe what's going on in your inner thighs today. You don't have to go too far down. It's just 
uh, nice gentle morning stretch we are not trying to get into our splits observe the sensations And then when you're ready to slide your right foot in towards the right left leg, engage the core and lift the torso up, align the hips over the left knee. Inhale, lift your left arm up and stretch the right side. Observe the sensations and find your volume as you inhale, expand the ribs, reach your left armpit up to the ceiling and exhale. Empty the belly, empty the chest. Inhale, breathe into your lower back, into the side body. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Slowly circle your right arm down towards the right foot. Lift your right toes and sink the chest over the right thigh. Again, it doesn't have to be deep, depends on your flexibility. You can have the palms on the floor or the block. lift the chest halfway up and now um, align the left toes with the left knee facing the front of the room uh, the front of the mat squaring the hips inhale lift the chest sink the hips find in your low lunge exhale shift the hips back frame the foot fold over your right thigh flex the foot inhale bend the knee lift through the heart exhale shift the hips back inhale bend the knee lift through the heart Exhale, shift the hips back. Inhale, bend the knee, lift through the heart. Exhale, shift the hips back. Inhale, bend the knee. Twist to the right side. Take your right shoulder over the left. Send your palm up. And if you wish, add your quadriceps stretch. Inhale and exhale slowly, let go of the holds on the foot and from here bring your right palm to the floor, frame your foot and shift the hips slightly back and now return your left foot where it was before on the edge of the mat. So you're kind of twisting uh, the hips, rotating the left hip to the side of the mat and rotate your right toes to face the side of the mat and you're returning to your gate pose and from here you're lowering back down to the floor and bring your right knee towards the left finding your tabletop so I, I rotate it to face you now I go back when you're ready extend your left leg out to the side Open the chest to the left, taking the left shoulder over the right. Reach your left fingertips up and try not to sink in your right arm, but press the floor away from you. Push the palm away. Spread the fingers. Inhale and exhale. Swing your left arm under the right armpit and maybe touch the floor. Find a little twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, lower, finding your twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, lower, find your twist. Inhale, open, exhale, lower, and try to go as low as possible. Maybe bring the shoulder, bring the block under the shoulder, and press your right palm into the mat and send your right shoulder back. You can work on straightening the arm and find a deeper squeeze in your middle back. Engaging the core, inhaling slowly, rising up, releasing the shoulder, have the palms on the mat and from here start sliding to the side opening the inner thighs finding your half frog so i'm going to rotate to face you little by little moving the knee and the foot away and just checking how your inner thighs feel today breathe lengthen through the heart keep your left toes on the mat And when you're ready, begin engaging your pelvic floor inner thighs and start sliding your left foot in towards the right, rising up, aligning the right hip over the right knee. Keep your left leg straight. Inhale, lift your right arm up and stretch to the left. Lengthen in your side body. Lift your right armpit up to the ceiling. 
Inhale, lengthen and exhale, stretch. Inhale, finding volume. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and slowly begin rotating the belly, the chest towards the left thigh, reaching your palm towards the ankle or the toes and lifting your left toes up. Engage the core, lengthen, send the hips back and fold over the left thigh. Breathe and observe what's happening in your left leg and your lower back, maybe a little more to the right side as you reach your ar right arm to the outer edge of the left foot. When you're ready, inhale, lifting the chest halfway up and now you rotate the, uh, the lower right leg and align the foot with your right knee and the front of the hip. Bending the left knee, inhaling, lifting through the heart, sinking the hips and exhale, shifting the hips back, extending your left leg, flex the foot, fold over the left thigh. Observe what's happening in your hamstring. Inhale, bend the knee, lift through the heart. Exhale, shift the hips back. Inhale, bend the knee, lift through the heart. Exhale, shift the hips back. One more time. Inhale, lift through the heart. Exhale, shift the hips back. Inhale, lift through the heart. Exhale, shift the hips back. Inhale, lift. Press your right palm into the mat and find your twist. Lift your left arm up, stack the shoulders. Press the floor away from you, lengthen. And you can add your quadriceps stretch, bending the right knee carefully. Send the palm to grab the foot or using the belt or your towel and stretching your quadriceps. Inhale and exhale, gently let go of the foot. And now square the hips, shift the hips slightly back and return your right foot to the left side of the mat and rotate your left toes to the right. And from here, you just bring your left knee in, returning to your tabletop. And a couple of cats and cows. Inhale, find your back bend, lift through the heart. Exhale, press the flow away from your rounding, tuck in the chin. Inhaling, find in your back bend. Exhale, round in, tuck in the chin. Inhale, return to neutral, walk the palms to the front and keep your palms, your arms in shoulder width uh, distance apart. And little by little, try sliding your chest down to the floor and maybe bringing the block under the chest. Keeping your feet on the mat, keep your toes curled or uncurled. And when you're ready, maybe sinking a little lower, maybe bringing your chin down. When you're ready, engage the core and slide forward as you lift the belly, the chest of the mat to your sphinx pose. And then bring the palms next to the ribs, finding your cobra. Press the palms into the mat, press your pelvic bone into the mat, extend the torso, draw the shoulders back and down. Breathe. Exhale, lower down. Send the palms towards the lower back and see if you can interlace the fingers or uh, maybe using the belt or a little towel and begin pressing your pelvic bone into the mat. Draw the pubic bone slightly in towards the lower ribs and you lengthen through your tailbone and then begin peeling your chest over the mat using the strength of your core. Press the feet into the mat and send your arms back and maybe pulse one, two, Three, four, five. Lift your arms higher, lift your chest high. Exhale, lower down and relax. Slowly press up back to your tabletop and then lower the hips down, extend the legs. Bend your left knee and cross it over the right thigh, flex your right foot, inhaling, lifting the arms up. Exhaling, finding your twist. Squeeze your thigh in, keep your shoulders over the hips. 
Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release and twist. And from here, begin lifting your left foot, externally rotating the hips so you send the knees slightly to the back of the room and out. And bring the sole of the foot to the crease of your elbow if possible, or just hold on to the foot. And begin hugging the shin, finding your hip stretch, gently rocking your leg and the movement has to come from the leg itself so you're moving your thigh bone to the left and to the right inhale and exhale slowly release the foot bring your right palm to the outside of the left foot square the hips twist the chest to the left and then try to extend your left leg breathe Inhale and exhale, gently release. Switch, extend your left leg, bend your right knee, step your right foot to the outside of the left thigh. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist to the right. You can squeeze the thigh in, you can bring the elbow, the tricep to the outside of the thigh. Inhaling and exhaling, twisting to the right side. Inhale and exhale, twist. Inhale and exhale, gently release. Lift the foot, send the right knee back and out. And try to bring the foot to the crease of the elbow, which is hold on to the foot, hug the knee and stretch your hip. So you're sending the right knee away from you, trying to bring the shin towards the chest, lifting through the heart, trying to straighten the back, finding the movement in the hip. Inhale and exhale slowly. Release, let go of the hook. And now bring your left palm to the outside of the right foot. First, square the hips. Just bring the foot and knee in one line, close towards the chest. Find your twist and little by little begin pushing the right heel to the front of the room. Lengthen and exhale, maybe twist a little deeper, reach your right palm back. Inhale and exhale, gently release. Bending both knees, finding a diamond shape with your legs. Thread your palms under the calf muscles and reach towards the ankles. Maybe you can grab the feet. If the knees are very high, you don't have enough space, maybe you can bring the block under the hips. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. You can apply some strength to pull your forehead towards the feet. Let your thighs be heavy. Draw the knees down. When you're ready, lift the chest. Return back to neutral and now transition towards the knees. Shift the hips back, find your child's pose. Rest. And you can stay here or you can transition to your Shavasana for your relaxation or you can finish the practice with me. Thank you guys for joining me for this quick morning uh, yoga routine. I hope you feel better, awakened, energized, more sensations in your whole body, more awareness in your muscles. I invite you to join my membership area for exclusive members only yoga flows that will help you to improve and deepen your practice and feel better in your body, your heart and your mind. Thank you again for joining me today. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet until we practice again. Namaste.